Okay. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I I I was a, afraid not to see anybody right. because the selecta is about to start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see that uh, Freddy's is connected. Yeah, uh, right now I see Freddy's, uh, Fabio. Fabio, yes. But um, today you're going I to see be one eye with the class and the other one paying attention to the to the TV, right? <laughs> ah, yes, it's, it's true. I, I don't like soccer. I don't know. You don't like soccer? No. Ah, what do you think, teacher? Uh, who is the what is the the, the score? Who mm, marcador? I'm not sure, but I I yes I suppose that it will be a tie game. Mm -hmm. It will be a tie. Maybe one one. Oh. I think that it's difficult okay, that in Salvador. Uh, uh, how do you say, the Grande? Or simplemente Canal? That El Salvador wins. Or ah. that El Salvador uh, beats the USA. El Salvador beats, beats the USA. Beats the USA. Ah, okay. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I see in the news, the newspaper that uh, that the old tickets uh -huh. uh, was sold. Were, were sold. Mm -hmm. All the tickets were sold. Yeah. Yes. I I, I saw that. Um, good evening, Gustavo, Janari, Blanca. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I oh have this is Wi Fi. So good. <laughs> teacher, I'm still working. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Got it. I, but I, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Why? He was in the, the football soccer. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you wish, right? Now I wish still stay in, in the stadium, but now I'm still working now. If I if I if if I I'm staying in um, the stadium, you hear the sound of the people screaming and all these kind of things. And now I'm I'm in the office. Okay. Who's coming? Who's coming? And see, Jack is coming. Good evening. Good evening. Rolando, good evening. Teacher. Hello. Can you predict how many students are going to be online today? I'm going to be optimistic and I'm going to say 15. Okay. The thing is see. that, that yeah, people, yeah. people can connect, but I'm sure that their, their attention is going to be divided. Okay. A little bit in the class and a little bit in the game. So half and a half, maybe. <laughs> and some others going to have the excuse they don't have the internet. May yeah, that's a possibility. Let me check. Rolando, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, how's it going? You had a, a, a long day at work yesterday. 
Yes, all night. Wow. But I'm here ready for all. Are you watching the soccer game, Rolando? Yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's inevitable it's inevitable yes, right yes, yes. it's a it's a it's a passion right the emotion yes, yes, that yes. people have right now yeah yes. but it's but obviously it's also important and necessary to be in the class right especially yeah, yeah, yeah. because we are finishing the, the week we are finishing the module and today is the trivia <laughs> thursday so it's like you had to be here right uh so you can't you can't miss this. I know that Gustavo is waiting for this. I know that Blanca is waiting for this day. Um, yes. It's in their calendar. It's in their cell phone reminder. No, because uh, every single Thursday, uh, Gustavo said that I'm cheating. So I'm done going. To, uh, I will. <laughs> Don't uh, say the answers in this time. No, so yeah, girls, you have, you have to. to win for me. If your you have to if win your, for me, girls. If your camera is on, and we can see that you're looking at the camera, there is no way that somebody can say that you're using the internet. But Gustavo always said say that, so <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, now <laughs> I'm going to win. <sighs> Okay. Um, good evening. Good evening. And the game is star. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get started with the class. Welcome, everybody. I know that today is a very special day for our country because we start with the, I don't know, they, let's say the classifying um, our classification stage for to the Qatar, to Qatar. Qatar uh, 2022. Yes, yes, an important yes. situation. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a really defining day. Well, not defining because there are more games to come, but it's an important day. Okay. Now, however, however, uh, we know that it's also an important class. And um, I will do my best to compete against uh, the game. <laughs> I know it's going to be difficult, but I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Um, let me check. Okay, I'm going to start with the attendance. So the first person that I have in the list is Beatriz, but I'm not sure if she's here. Let me check it out. Okay, so today is Thursday, September the 2nd. Okay, and uh, something that we have to remember, right, is that uh, today is the beginning of the week five. That means that we are missing just today's class and four more to go. So time flies and we don't have to miss the opportunity, right, to learn. Now, let's go on. Uh, after Beatriz, I continue with Mariela. Present. Excellent, Blanca. Brenda. I'm here. Okay. Diana. Diego. Uh, Flor. Francisco. Somebody. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Got it. We continue with uh, Freddy's. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Laura, thank you, Freddy's. Uh, Jackie. I'm here. Arvin. Present, teacher. Um, okay, got it, Floor. Jennifer.
Doctor say is in the stadium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me see. It's Juan possible. Jose. <laughs> it is a possibility that somebody's at the stadium. Yes. That's a big chance. Let's make our bets. Who do you think could be at the stadium today? <laughs> mm. If don't put the audio, it's because it's because yeah. If somebody doesn't use noise. the microphone, uh -huh, yeah, exactly, or the too camera, much noise. or the camera, it's because they, yeah, they are probably at the stadium. Right now, Miguel is not here, so let's see. Okay, uh, we continue with Juan Jose. I'm here. Okay, Gustavo is there. I'm here. Miguel is not here. Suspicious. Fabio? I'm here. Rolando? Hello, hello. Okay, Yanari? I'm here. Roxana? Present teacher. Okay, so you see, so, so far the only candidate is Miguel and maybe Diego. <coughs> hmm. Well, Beatriz likes to go out, so I don't know. Maybe she, <laughs> she planned a family trip to the stadium, right? We never know. Now, we're going to go on. And uh, as I told you, right, today we're going to be um, studying, right? We're going to study the week, but also uh, finishing the unit, number three. So we're going to do some activities. We're going to have a review, a quick review of the unit. Remember to work on the platform on the exercises related to the unit three. Um, and for the next four days, we're going to develop some activities or, or exercises related to the unit four. Okay, floor, 100% Salvadorian, right? So, uh, Okay, to get started, uh, I want to ask you, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Yesterday class, um, we talk about, for example, <coughs> the quality control, uh -huh. filter, uh, Capping. Okay, capping. 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 Yeah. Capping. Mm -hmm. Labeling or labeling. Uh huh. Um, we also talk about our favorite uh, music. Correct. Yes. You talk about your favorite music, uh, we big singers, the, right? Your belt. We talk about some vocabulary words, for example, surveyor belt, uh, bulk production, manual what? Manual labor, labor and machinery. Machinery what? Machine hour. Machinery hours. Okay, that's correct. And um, let me check. I'm going to update the attendance. So, Anna Elizabeth is here. I see Diana. And that's it. So, so far. Rolando, I, I, I won. There are 15 students. You see? <laughs> Hello? Sorry. I won. There are 15 students connected right now. Uh, okay. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> connected, like, on, on, I can see that they are there, right? What? 16 students. Now Brenda is joining us. Okay. Now, um, so... That's what we're going to do, and it's time to get started. Um, let's see. 
in your well i'm going to give you an option here as we're talking about games and sports and the uh, selecta etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, let's i'm going to give you an option right i'm going to give you an option um do we start with the exercises or we start with the trivia Maybe trivia. Uh -huh. Francisco says trivia. The rest? Trivia. Trivia. Okay. And there are three people saying that. And we're going to start now. I'm going to share the link with you right now. Let me get it here. Okay, who joined this session? Wait a second. Aha, uh -huh. floor says trivia. And yes. Okay, so. The cameras must be on. However, however, I know what can happen or what usually happens here. <laughs> and for that reason, I decided to do something different. And... No. And for not having any discussions or or um let's say people doubting about the 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 answers from each other we are going to have a specific well we're going to have a specific link so you are going to have exactly 15 questions okay about different topics and, okay. and um, what I'm going to do to give the winner, yes, there's going to be a winner, right? Uh, with, the, let's say that is going to be in the first place, right? Because the person got more correct answers. But as we are continuing with the, with the tendency, right? Okay, who is going to win, the girls or the boys? From the top 10, Okay, if the majority of the of the people that appear in the top 10 are girls, girls win. Okay, so it's going to be two prizes. To the person that got more correct answers and to the team that got more people in the top 10. Okay, so that's going to be the dynamic this time. And that's going to be uh, the dynamic for today. And that's it. Let me you sure I have a question. Uh-huh. How much time we're gonna have to answer the questions? Okay, in average you have 30 seconds. Some questions have 20 seconds and some others have 10 seconds because they are very easy. Okay, so there are different kinds of questions. Okay. And yeah, the majority of them be, what you don't have to be too much time for no one could be using Google. Exactly. So there is no too much time, okay. And anyways, we're going to see how much time everybody can, I can see how much time everybody's taking to answer. So no problem. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to choose a picture from you. Okay, I think this one has more people. Yeah. This one is better. So it's a personalized one. Um, that's it, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Um, it's going to be from 10th to university. So everybody's going to go uh, to their own rhythm. Okay, that's something that I have to 
clarify. And you can also only take the, the quiz one time, okay? So as soon as you finish, uh, we're going to get the, the results. The questions are random and here we go. I'm going to share the link through the chat. If not, if you don't want, you can use um, you can use the, the code. Okay, so here it is. Let me check. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, open the link. And I'm going to share the screen for you to see the code in case you want to enter directly. Okay, that is a code. So you can select a nickname if you like, <laughs> okay? Or just a short name, a short form of your name, that's okay. Hmm. My, the tea that I made today is really delicious. What kind of tea, teacher? It's a uh, pomegranate, I mean, it's green tea with pomegranate. And mm. I added milk. I need oh, okay. It tastes really good. Teacher, hmm? I need a code. A Coke? <laughs> no, the code. Ah, the code. Ah, sorry. I, th I, I, I thought you said a Coke. I was like, yeah. okay, I you need a Coke. <laughs> That's okay. I already drank the Coke already. Okay. Okay. Do we have to log in with, the, with our email? Yeah, any email. Any email. Okay, okay. I tried to log in with the email, but it was enabled, so that's why I'm asking you for the code. Okay, so you can enter, enter with the code. That's okay. 724. Yeah, you can enter joinmyquiz.com and then enter the code. Feel free to celebrate if there is a goal from the selector. Okay, this is okay, no problem. And this is you are using these quizzes. In the school, in the uh, company. Yeah, it's cool. It's, school is okay. Teacher. Okay. As a student. Uh huh. Okay. I don't know why it shows me Google. Hemos detectado un problema con la configuración de cookies de tu navegador. Ah, uh, so you have a problem with the cookies. I don't know how to fix that. So in this case, I don't know what to do, Freddy's. Can you try from your cell phone? Oh, yeah. Or try to delete the cookies. Yeah, maybe delete the cookies or allow cookies because sometimes you uh, or don't allow those. Uh -huh, those, and that's the reason why. I only have six people connected. Uh, Fanny, try right Canary, right Roxana, Juan Jose, Fabio, and Jackie. It's... Teacher, could... can you share the link, please? Yeah, one more time. I'll I'll send it. I am very Who are you? Beatriz. No, I mean, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I, was, uh, I was asking uh, Diana because uh, she said that she logged in, but ah, but just to the app, not to the game. Okay, quizzes.com. Okay, uh, there you have the link. The game. Get started. But Marvin when Miranda. I click okay. On the link, when I click on the link, uh, I log in in okay. the app, not in the game. Mm, okay. So you can go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the code. That's another option. Okay. Join. Let me share it with you. Ah, you're going to do it. Okay. Yes. For my cell phone, oh. I log in and it says, how are you using Quizzy at school? As a school? student, at school, uh huh? The thing is, I'm already logging, so it shows me the app, not the game. So you can play uh, from the app October. if you have the app. If not, okay. you can play online. Oh my God, okay. Use it, if that, the computer doesn't work, use a cell phone. If your cell phone doesn't work, use a computer. Okay, we have eight people. Okay, this is going to be exciting. Okay. Okay. What grade are we? What's the 
Oh. Any grade, it's okay. Uh, for kindergarten. Kindergarten, okay. Oh. Fine. So in this case, if you win, if you get the points, it's because you knew the answer and nobody's going to discuss, right? Because everybody has the same time, the same questions, the same uh, everything. Uh -huh. The same opportunities. And it's multiple choice, so you can guess. Okay, Freddy's, you're in. Got it. Got it. Ten, 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 ten. Okay, the eye of the tiger. Floridalma is in the house. Okay, good. Rolando, too. When you select a star teacher, it's gonna start automatically in our yeah, cell. your in your cell phone, your computers, yeah. Okay. And everybody is going to advance according to their rhythm. But remember that the faster you answer the questions, the more points you get. So that is also important. I have to mention that. The faster you answer, the more points you can get. The more we mistake, the less points we get. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that, let me see. Okay, Diana, you're in. Okay, I got 11 people out of um, 18, or let's say 17, because some people are working, so it's not possible for them to be using the phone and the computer and everything. And some people are watching the game. Some people are watching the game, probably, so we don't know. Okay. Who's Minerva McGonagall? Minerva McGonagall. <laughs> Maybe somebody who studied at National University? I don't know. <laughs> She is the leader of Gryffindor. <laughs> ah, so you see, that was Blanca. <laughs> no, who's I am speaking? funny. You're funny. Okay, who's speaking? Wait, I didn't. I, didn't. I am funny. Who said funny. the leader of Gryffindor? I'm say that. Ah, you said that? <laughs> ah, yeah. So but who is my a name who is in a the hum? game. But my oh. name in the game, it's funny. So it's a, it's a fan of Harry Potter. Of course. Who is that person? Beatriz, is that you? I don't know, <laughs> teacher. Ah. No, it's me, but it's a, no, uh, a random name. It's a random right. name. Ah, okay. Yeah. So Mariela selected a random name. Okay, got it. Good. So we got 12 people. Is anybody trying to enter and but uh, having some problems to it to play? Yes or no? Or are we ready to go with these 12 people? Yes? Remember, ah, but in this case, so we're going to change the rule. So it's not going to be a top top 10. It's going to be the top seven. That would be like half of the group, right? Let me check how many men we have here. One, two, three, four, five, five boys, okay? And the rest are girls. So yeah, it's going to be a top seven, okay? So ready, set, good luck. Okay, if the questions are easy, it's because I thought about them. If the questions are difficult, it's because I thought about them. <laughs> so you can blame it on me later. Okay, ready, set, go. Here we go, show time. I like the music. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Only one answer is correct. You have 15 questions.
that's the way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like it. I don't know anything about football. Right. Okay. Roxy's on fire, Juan Jose too. How many players? Because yeah. the smallest countries in the world. <laughs> oh my God! There are fifteen players in. I mean, the fourteenth place. This is really tight. I see uh, like round two okay. boys at the top and three girls. Okay. Come on, guys, you can do it. I'm still wondering who Minerva is. Maybe that's Brenda. You see, there is not enough time for Google. I just want to laugh because they don't believe that I can. And I'm the first one. Okay? <laughs> Gustavo, that's for you. <laughs> okay, no. And they were, and what? But he's not playing. That's a problem. He's not playing. He should. He's at work. Hey, Juan Jose is coming back. Orlando, okay. Diego is in the house. <laughs> Looks like I, I finished. We are tight. Five women, five men. Mm -hmm. This is good. I like it.
I'm bad at guessing. What? You're bad at guessing. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> I thought that uh, Bill Gates it's the richest person in the world, but uh, it was a time that he was the richest, but it's fluctuating. It's... Uh, yeah, I was wrong about that. And Volkswagen, well, I don't know what it means. <laughs> well, just right now, because I, I, before I don't know what it means, Volkswagen. <sighs> And sorry for <laughs> for who is the only Salvadorian player to score a goal in a World Cup. <laughs> I have the opportunity to to change hey, the time answer. is up. I have the opportunity to change the answer, but again, I I have a mistake with that. <laughs> I don't know why I have the feeling, uh, Blanca, that, that Gustavo is going to continue saying the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so um, time is up and claps for everybody, please. And especially for the the three, right? Who got the, 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 the medals, the virtual medals, right? So, <laughs> okay, so how do you like the trivia for today? I, I love have the pressure of time. <laughs> you love having the pressure? Yeah, of time. The okay. time, it's over, something like that. Yeah. So let me check. Um, I said that the top seven, right? Because there are not so many of you. But in the end, yeah, there are 15. So if we consider the top seven, we have one, two, three, four girls. One, two, three boys. If we consider the top 10, we have one, two, three, four, five boys and five girls. So, and the top is a girl. So we're going to give it a tie, okay? I stick to the first rule, the top 10. So five and five, it's good to me. Now, according to the results, uh, <laughs> The majority of you had problems to answer the question number four, 12, 13, and 14. Which was the question number four? Let's check. Question number four. Oh yeah, it was the capital of Australia. I imagine that the majority of people think that it's Sydney, but Sydney is the most famous yeah. city in Australia. Era. It's Canberra. Yeah, I think yeah. that it's Sydney. Canberra, that's right. So, uh, yeah. That's a new knowledge. Yeah, then the number 13, right? Number 13 uh, and 11 too. Number 11, where's the largest population? No, that was not a problem. China. Ah, oh, yeah, it was a problem. China is a, the winner, right? Is the correct answer. Yeah, uh, China the is place, the largest The population. second place is, is India and then the United States. Um, if you want to know the, the, the <laughs> capital city that has the largest population uh, per territory is DF, Mexico DF. Um, <laughs> he's the only Salvadoran player to score a goal. Yeah, Pele Zapata, he was from San Miguel. So now it's for your information. Um, that's what I know. <laughs> your knowledge. Yeah, then who's the richest person in the world? I thought that it was just Bezos, but when I looked on the internet, Bernard Arnold is the, is, right now he's at the top. And the second one is Jeff Bezos. So uh, it's a guy from France, I think. I'm not so sure. It's an old man, like 72 years old. So you can check. He's an owner of different companies and stuff. So um, this is intelligent. Yeah, you got it right. Very good. So um, those were the most difficult questions for you. And ah, Madonna's real name. Okay. <laughs> it's Madonna. I yeah, didn't know. That's funny. How many sides does a Pentagon have? Okay, a Pentagon is just five. But a lot yeah. of people confuse that, right? With, um, so, with four. Uh -huh. mm. 
Or am I wrong? Octagon. <laughs> no. So, excellent. I'm glad that you liked it. I'm going to stop sharing this. Uh, congratulations. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fanny. Uh, we had, who was the second place? I didn't. Okay, second one was Juan Jose and the third one, Fabio, right? So it was a tie game, okay, a tie game. Five girls, five boys were at the top 10 and everything was really tight. So, excellent. We're going to continue with, because life goes on. And um, yesterday, one of the activities that you were doing was working in groups, or sorry, working in teams. And what were you working on? What were you talking about in your teams? Who remembers? About music? No. About the prototype. About the prototype. The mm -hmm. diagram of... The process. The, other, uh, the, process uh -huh. of... the, the production process, right? The production process. Correct. So that's what you were doing, right? So we were working on the production process and you were making a little diagram or graphic, right? To show more or less how you're, you're, you are going to create your product. And I told you yesterday, right? We didn't have enough time to, to share, but today we do. So for that reason, we're going to share the, the what we have. The first group to finish yesterday was uh, Pet Lovers. So Pet Lovers, could you please start sharing with us about your, your production process? What is more or less the, the order in which you're going to produce, if you're going to use any kind of machinery, if you're going to use any specific materials or process? Okay. Okay. I will, I will share it, uh, but <laughs> okay. There you go. So uh, here, uh, in order to create, uh, this is, yeah, it's a kind of product, but it's an app, so it app, doesn't huh? it doesn't pass for from for the same production process as as the uh, some goods, mm -hmm. but it has uh what it has like uh, uh some task you do you need to do and uh, production in order to create elaboration the, in order uh, to create the app yeah uh -huh. uh, for first and this is i think the most important part of creating an app is uh, knowing uh, or or building the first the first sketch but this is just as a, a blueprint a diagram uh, of how the app works and it's called warframe and i put uh, Im images here for for example that this is just how you want the app to be and work. Like what 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 is going to be the first uh, the homepage? What is going to happen when you touch the homepage? And what we have the next uh, the next interface? What will happen if you if you select any of the option that was in the homepage? And how? Every option you you click will interact with the app. So in the first part, you have to make clear how how you want this to work in, a, in just a theoretical process. It still it still do, it doesn't know. It. You still doesn't have to to uh, know if it if it actually will work in that way. But how you want it to work, then uh, you using the, the same sketch, need to build a basic model or as an alpha or beta version of the app. And for this, you can use, uh, you need to have some knowledge for app creation, but there are some software in, in the internet that they cost a little money sometimes and they are just aesthetical, but using some software, you can recreate how the app uh, will work. And then when you create a first model, 
it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't need to have the, the last one you will make. You need to test it and see if every option work as you, uh, they were uh, in, intended to be. If you feel something don't, doesn't work that way, you change uh, something, you make some change in how the, the interface work until you are sure you want the you want the function that are that are created already then uh, after you test uh, you feel that it's almost uh, how you like if you have you have all the knowledge to create that app you can you can do it yourself but okay. as we as a team doesn't really have all the knowledge we need to to solve all the problems to see if there are things that seems like to work, but don't really. Mm -hmm. It's better to hire a development team that help you with all the more specific parts that are missing. Okay, you got two more minutes, uh, Fabio. Uh, okay, uh, then you can hire some designers to help you uh, design a better uh, aesthetics for the app, room more tested, and finally you have to publish in the app. If you are already uh, fine with how it, it works for the materials, uh, a computer. <laughs> uh, the enough with enough power to uh, make some designs and to work the app creation apps that you will need. Uh, servers, uh, programs, money, the other developer teams, and team designer. On designer teams, uh, as I say, the time machinery computer. I don't know if this is correct, but the least method for production is programming because <laughs> uh, it's how the app will will be made. So this is almost all the things that were in there. Okay, I finish. Excellent. Thank you so much. Claps for Fabio in representation of his team of the pets lovers, please. Excellent. I think it's really clear that you don't have a, a like specific production line or a production, um, let's say, assembling, right? But it's more virtual, right? Everything is virtual. But even if it's virtual, there is a process to follow. OK, excellent. Thank you so much. We continue with the next one. That was, uh, let me check, what was it? the other the other team that was working, almost finishing the process? That was, oh yeah, the find your pet, find your pet. So who's going to present or share the information about that? Then we continue with, uh, the yes. sunshine and quaternary money. So that will be the last one. Asian? Yep, Francisco. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and okay. clear. Okay. Um, Diana um, Blanca? Yeah. I'm here. Okay. I, I, I tried the. the, 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 the the share the, the presentation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's your turn. They selected Diana as a volunteer. Yes. <laughs> no, you're going to explain it. No, I was just kidding. Okay. Just to check <laughs> that, you, that you were listening to Francisco. It's a little presentation. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Can you see? And your pet. Fast, easy, and safe. Okay, I like that. Yes, you can see it. Um, yesterday, we talked about with the, with the classmate, mm -hmm. um, Diana, Juan Jose. Um, yeah. But Miguel is at the stadium right now, so it's not possible. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, he was saying that we were talking with Diana, Miguel, Juan Jose. Yeah. Blanca. 
What happened I don't with the presentation? How, yes, I don't know how, uh, what the, the, the stop. Uh, okay. Now, okay. Uh, we try to to describe the, the process. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, um, uh, in the pet, uh, we change the, the some words. For example, is is more fast. It's faster. For, more faster for for to location or, or search your pet. Uh, AC use. Um, security. Uh -huh. Because. I don't know. We think that uh, we need to have a more uh, security in your cell phone when you don't land whatever up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, this is nice. This, the step. Mm -hmm. In the number one, obviously, we had we need to uh, don't land the the app for. Or made for connect the 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 red or like connecting to a network. Uh huh. Uh -huh, to the network. <clears throat> mm, yes. Step number two um, is to like uh, what kind of machine we we need to use for the uh, for the maybe programmer the. Necklace. Mm -hmm, the necklace. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with this machine, we need to create uh, the user, computer, and start a uh, security system. <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, in the step number three, uh, in this case, we have the character characteristic that I, we we buy the the other element for do the the necklace for making mm -hmm. for making for make, the necklace. Uh huh. Uh, we we buy a, a other person for for the component. For example, the batteries, uh, chips, and necklace. Mm -hmm. We uh, only we. We have to. We need to assemble the, the, the assemble assemble the pieces. Uh, maybe the the picture is a little fierce, but uh, it's like uh, for for to do the. I don't know how. Remember how do you say soldaduras? Welding. Welding. Okay. In the step number five, uh, we need to check the if the the old uh, step is to found or functionando. Functioning or working. Mm -hmm. In the last, uh, obviously, we need to to deliver the the product. Is it's only that, but okay. But I think it's great. Um, what do you think about it? It's a okay, little... reactions for Francisco and his team, please. Excellent. I love the I love the 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 way that you represent it, right? The the process is very clear. Okay, to understand how you picture the the product. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, we continue with the sunshine floor, uh, floor. Ah, okay. So we're going, to, she's almost getting home. Okay. Got it. So floor is going to share with us later. A uh, quaternary ammonium. Are you ready? We were ready. You were born ready. That's the answer. Okay. That's what I tell. I tell all my students, right? When somebody <laughs> asks you, are you ready? You say, I was born ready. 
Yes, of course. And, and that time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, as you remember, our name is Proclab as company. And today I will talk about the the process, product process. Maybe you can show the next line, Rolando. Rolando is watching the match. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the way they go. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I have problem. I don't know what happened with my computer. Uh, okay, so maybe oh. you can just go slide by slide without um, sharing it. I, I mean. Okay, I will share again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened this by this situation because I I, I mean, will try share again. Yeah, don't project the big slide. Just go to normal slides when you can see it all of them and you just go down one by one oh, okay you can do that okay because sometimes when you project the whole image is when it gets frozen or something like that okay uh-huh like that so you just uh-huh click on the next one there you go q a f2 ah okay okay this so. is different we, we you found the abbreviation okay Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It, the name is, is shorter. Yeah, QAF, you see? Okay, so QAF2. But it's, it's, the, it's number two because it's the second product that we have in the in our company. In the company, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But have a difference and between the, both. And we already have two fragments. Yeah, with, with fragments. With, you have to change the, the, the order of the letters. With is W-I-T-H. Oh, yes. W ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, don't be sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. I, don't worry. Next. Yes. Okay, yeah, you can go to the next one. There okay, you go. Okay, I will start to, to talk about the basic process that we have in our company. Basic? The first, yes, the basic process that we have. The oh. first step is the account manager buy, or buy the raw material because we needed to process that. After that, the quaternary ammonia, we start the production with the chemical, chemical formula. The chemical formula, yeah. Yes. And after that, we have the first check control because we have to check the formula. Mm -hmm. it, it is good. We pass to the another step, but it is, it is bad. We have to remanufacturing. Got it. After that, I, the chemical formula is good. We start to put it on the quaternary model, bottling mm -hmm. the quaternary model, and we have the second control of the quality. And we have the, the same process. It, it is good. We pass it to the another step. In this part, we remanufacture the process because all pro we product have to be the best. Okay, yeah, I agree with you. Finally, when the, the quaternary ammonium is, is finished, the product, we start to packing. Mm -hmm. And after that, we chip the product. And the last, in the last step, and the most important is we receive the pay, <laughs> the payment. <laughs> okay, no money. No growing for the company, right? So yeah. no growth for the company. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Um, a round of applause for them too. So I, lo I love that you have this, uh, like there's a second quality control and if it doesn't work, you go back to the previous uh, steps. So that's really good. So you are checking that everything is working. Okay, now we continue with, um, Okay, let me check. I'm going to take the attendance because it's about time. I'm going to check that everybody's here. So thank you so much for being so responsible, guys. I I admire that in people. So Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Mariela? Mariela? Blanca? I'm here. Brenda? Diana? 
I'm here. Diego. Present. Floor is driving. Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Freddy's. I'm here. Laura. No está. Okay. Jackie. I'm here. Harvin. Present teacher. Okay, the next one is Jennifer. Jennifer, no. Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo. I think we lost communication with Gustavo. He was working. Um, let me check. We think that he was working. We never saw him on the pic on the camera. Hmm. Maybe he was uh, at Palco, right? No, 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 there, I'm, no. Here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I'm in, in, I'm okay. in video call. I'm You're in video, video call, call with, oh, yes, with, with another uh, company. Okay. For, yes. I'm, I'm sorry I'm you, you missed the tree, man. And you know yeah, what? I'm sorry. I, Blanca, I'm here a Blanca, little bit. But... Blanca was the what? winner. Blanca was the winner. No way. And, no, and... how is. How how are you playing with this kind of things? <laughs> because she is a pastor no, using Google. They use Google. <laughs> they, she use Google all time. I, I don't know, but I would like to have a trivia just between Blanca and, and Gustavo. That would be cool, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah? Okay. <laughs> the next time. <laughs> okay. Miguel okay. is not here. He's at the stadium, right? Um we continue with um, Fabio. I'm here. Rolando. I'm here. Rolando, do you know that you are the manager of your company? Really? Yes. Yes. That's what they told me yesterday. Rolando <laughs> yes. is not here, so um, we don't know. And then they had to work together and take the, the control of the company because you were not present. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. I'm but sorry, but but yesterday I, probably I, you're going I'm to working. be fired. You're going to be fired probably. <laughs> I I saw other people taking control yesterday. So very nice, uh, very yeah. nice. <laughs> but that's but a role. To, that's a role of a leader, right? To create new leaders. So yeah. Yes, yes. And Excellent. I have and I have a good leader to me. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Yanari. I'm here. Roxana. Present teacher. Okay, we have Elizabeth and that's it. Okay, um, let's check. Now we're going to move on to the next part. Okay, uh, we're going to wait a little bit just for uh, Flor to get home so that she can share with us what Sunshine has been working on. However, there are more things to do, so don't worry. There's time for everything in this class, even to have fun. Okay, so. Um quickly the some of the words that we were studying yesterday or we were, we were discussing were uh, related to the production line right and we were talking about well i was explaining you a little bit about the differences i was asking you right what is the difference between the assembly line and the production line so assemble is a very key word in companies, right? When they are producing things. Because assemble is to put the pieces together, right? Assemble. It's like the Avengers, assemble. Yeah, okay, so the Avengers get together. Now, we're going to, um, we already have the idea, right? A conveyor belt is the, the one that, where you put the things and or the, the robots or the machines put the things and then they move, they, get transported to another step, right, in the, in the, in the production process. Uh, the bulk production is the massive, right, production of, of products, of the product, for example, that is not um, in a bottle or in a bag yet. So it's, you have all the product in one place, and from there, that's bulk production, you start uh, putting it in different packages, right? The manual labor, we agreed that is the work that people do, like humans, right, working. And the machine hours, uh, it's obviously the machines that people have at the company. So there's a number of hours that these machines are working during the day to uh, help in the production uh, or in the assembly 
uh, line. Now, uh, we're going to move on. This is the exercise that we did yesterday. I'm going just to check if you remember the definitions. Freddy's, what is the definition of weld? Speaking of the of the, it's uh one two the third one. To join two pieces of metal or plastic by heating, so that edges come together. Okay, what is the translation for that word, uh, Fabio? Uh, well, weld. Yeah. Is um. It's like um. Uh, like, well, like what? Soldar? Soldar, yes. To create soldiers. Yes? No. No. It's not soldar. Soldadura. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. Okay. So, uh, soldar is to create soldiers. That was a, a little joke. Now, I get it myself. Don't worry. Beatriz, thank you. <laughs> what is the meaning of screw? Is the action okay? Is the action yes? Uh -huh. Tornillar. A tornillar. To, yeah, to join two pieces. To uh -huh. so join two pieces <laughs> of metal or plastic. No, that is weld. That's the first one. Screw. Attach on a surface to another using a screw. That's correct. To attach one surface. Actually, that the pronunciation of this word is surface. So surface. Surface is now face. It's face. Surface. 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 So to attach one surface to another using a screw. That's correct. And the translation, as you were saying, somebody was saying, right, is uh, atornillar. Um, <clears throat> then we have Titan, Juan Jose. What was the definition for Titan? I cannot hear you, Juan Jose. Your microphone Excuse is me. off. Okay, go ahead. Okay, to turn an object as a screw until it is tight and it cannot be torn anymore. Torn anymore, okay? So here's the moment what we were saying yesterday in Salvadorian, right? So, uh, so car, right? So, uh, <laughs> tight, apretar. right? Apretar, right? Uh, or ajustar, right? But, but ajustar is more adjust, but it's, it's more, uh, yeah, like apretar, right? Um, there might be other synonyms, but I don't remember right now. So, tighten. Teacher. Hello. How's the game? Is está socado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another translate, another synonym. Okay, another meaning of the word. Now, adjust. Uh, I'm going to ask Roxana. What is the meaning of or the definition of adjust? Adjust is a start, and I think there is. Um, let me see. Uh, to move an object slightly, yeah, slightly so that it is in the right place or it fits better. It fits better, okay, that's correct. So, you need to adjust the car, for example, right? The, the engine, mm -hmm. okay. And then, screw we know that it's a pointed piece of metal with a twisted part on it called thread, okay. So, uh, that would be like, like a rosca, right? The thread. Uh, instead of hitting with a hammer, you push and turn in order to fasten pieces of metal or wood together. Okay, so that is the use that we that we give to that. Now, considering that, we have some uh, more information about the indirect questions with information questions. So, indirect information questions are not introduced by if. Okay, these are not introduced by if. Instead, they are introduced with a WH word. So here comes the example that I was telling you the last time. Remember when I was talk 
I was giving you the example about asking for directions. Okay, the direct question is, where is the bank? When you go to a new place, right? And you want to get some money or you want to get to a specific place. Where is the park? Where is the bank? Where is the restaurant? Okay, uh, where is the city hall? So that's a direct question. But if you want to use an indirect question, you can say, could you tell me, would you mind telling me, um, I like to know, I wonder, okay? And then the question, the indirect question. So for example, I wonder where the park is. I like to know where the park is. Would you mind telling me where the park is? Would you let me know where the park is? So that is the way that we structure these kind of indirect questions. That is for information. So it's not yes, no, it's specific information. So let's read examples. One volunteer to read, please raise your hand. Okay, wait a second, two people raise a hand. Who are they? Beatriz, Roxana, Rolando, Francisco. Okay, so we have four people and we have around four sentences. So let's go with the first one, uh, Rolando. 1A. Uh, 1A, I wonder what the two pieces I need to well are. Correct. Roxana, compare it to Okay, compare to what are the two pieces I need to weld? What are the two pieces I need to weld? Okay, remember the intonation when you're asking a question, right? What are the two pieces mm, okay. I need to weld? Excellent, thank you. Uh, Beatriz, 2A. I like to know when the provider will send the order of a screw. Compare it to, Francisco. Compare it to... What time is the first? No, when will here? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. When will the provide send the order of the screen? Of the screws. Okay, correct. Okay, more volunteers to continue reading with the, the next ones. Yanari, please, 1A on the right side. <clears throat> and Juan Jose, you continue with 1B. Okay, 1A. Yeah. Would you mind telling telling us how much the provider charges to process charges. charges? I'm sorry, charges to process the order. Okay, to process the order, compare it to Juan Jose. Okay, <clears throat> how much the, the provider charge to process the order? How much does the provider charge? Uh huh. Correct. To process the order. In this case, this word is a little bit tricky, right? Process is this, the stress is at this. In the last syllable, when you use it as a verb, as a verb, as an action, you say process. But when you use it as a noun, is process. Okay, so it's a different stress depending on the kind of word that you're using. Okay, so for example, the process of creating a new product is really interesting me. I am going to process the order because my boss want, needs it right now. So I'm going to process. Okay, then we continue with the 2A. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much. 2A. Diego, 2B. Thank you, teacher. Will you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? Mm -hmm. Diego? Compare it to what time is the feedback expected to be complete? Correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. So these are really easy. Uh, now that you know a little bit about indirect questions, it's easier for you to understand, right? How to use them. So the first ones were with if for yes, no questions. This is for information questions. They are called information questions because you ask spe specific things that you need to know, like where, when, why, what, which, right? Uh, so reminders, reminders. This is the same reminder as the previous one, okay? Helping verbs like do, does, and did 
are not included in indirect questions. You don't include them in the indirect questions. You include them in direct questions. For example, um, when did you go to the United States for the first time? When did you go for the, to the United States for the first time? So that's the direct question. That is information question because I want to know the time, okay, the specific year, okay, or date. So if I want to change, when did you go to the United States to an indirect question, okay? The auxiliary in the question is, when did you go? Now, ask an indirect question. Imagine that it's me, right? You ask me the question about the, when did you go to the United States in an indirect way using, I like to know. I like to know. Ask me the indirect question, please, about the time when I went to the United States. Using I like to know. I would like to know if, when you are going to the United States. In the past? Mm. I would like to know. Uh, when? Uh, when did when did you? <laughs> oh, did you have to eliminate did? Um, when you went? When you, when when you, went. you went? You went. Uh -huh. So what is the what happens here? We eliminate the auxiliary did. So what is going to be the modification? We change or we affect the verb. So. The verb. I like to know when you went. So you change the verb go to went because you are talking about the past in an indirect way. You're asking in the indirect way. So I would like to know when you went to the United States, States, right? So that is the example. Next one. Um, let's suppose that you don't have a watch, you don't have a cell phone uh, at the moment and you want to know the time. Um, what time it is or what time is it? What is correct? What time it is or what time is it? What time, what time, is, it? time is it? What time is it? That's the direct question. Now, if it is an indirect question and you want to ask in a polite way, would you mind? How would you ask that question about the time? Would you, would you mind, would you mind, would you tell me? Would you mind what telling time? me what would time? You mind what time? Is it, it or is. what time it is? What time it is? It is. It is. So the modification is we change the position of the subject and the verb. We don't say the is verb. it. We say it is. Would you mind telling me what time it is? Excellent. That's the way that you use it. Now let's continue. There's a little exercise that you're going to complete. Indications, Blanca, can you please read the indications for everybody? Number the drawings, drawings in the correct order to assemble all the parts of the of a pass a bicycle. Uh, bicycle? Bicycle? Yes, correct, a bicycle. bicycle. Okay. In my case, I, have, I used to have problems with bicycle for spelling. I always forgot if it was B-Y-C-I or B-I-C-Y. I used to have that problem with the spelling. Now, yes, the, the correct order to assemble all the parts of the bicycle, okay? So for this exercise, I'm going to give you exactly hmm, three minutes because you have to copy the vocabulary, okay? Three minutes. So please copy the vocabulary and write it down in the correct order. From one to six, what is first? What is second? What is third? What is fourth, fifth, and sixth step? We say in Spanish, right? A lot of los factores no alteran el producto, but in this case, when you're producing something, yes. If not, you are going to have the same problem that Superman had, right? He put the, the pants first and the underwear second. I would like to try it. Fucking. Okay. With the <laughs> steps. 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so let me check the timer. Again, floor, let me know when you're home. Teacher, I am okay. Excellent. So, after this exercise, you are going to share with us, right? The alarm is on. Okay, raise your hand when you when you are done, when you think that you already have the answers of the correct word to assemble the bicycle, please. And keep your hand up, right? So I can count how many people are missing, how many people are already finished, because I have 20 students. That's a good number. Okay, I have 19 to be precise. My coworkers told me because of the selecta, you're not going to have many students today. And I said, like, well, you don't know my students. Sure. They are very responsible. And they can watch the game as they are receiving the class. <laughs> uh huh. Freddy, what is the question? I was wondering if if shipping goes first or at the end. I don't know. We're going to find out soon. Do you receive the parts or you send the bike? That's a good question. It's a tricky question. To be or not to be. Okay, so, so far I only have two hands up. So Roxana and Fabi already finished. Okay, Diego too. Nice. Orlando, okay, Francisco is done. Red is two. A little bit confused with the, that question, but we finished. Jackie, okay, excellent. You have 20 seconds more. Don't put your hand down, okay? Keep it up, keep it up. Aunque se cansen de tener la mano virtual arriba, déjenla ahí. It's good exercise. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, Diana Blanca, okay. And time is up. Okay, so uh, we're going to check the exercise quickly. Uh, let me read well, uh, minimize the window. What happened here? Okay, got it. Perfect. So uh, what do you think is the first one here? The first. Uh... I think the first one is frame. Frame. I think frame. it's cheap. Frame. frame. I agree. What is the second one, in your opinion? Right now we're wheels. just. Wheels. Wheels. First the frame, yeah. second the wheels. Okay, let me, let me, okay, write down the numbers. Let's use the annotation tool. You know how to use the annotation, right? Frame, wheels, pedals, handlebar, pedal, and shipping. That's what I have. Wait a second, wait a second, Freddy. Okay, so please write down the numbers. You can use the annotation here. You can use frame. the drawings. So number frame one. Frame is the one, frame. Frame, okay, I'm going to write it down here. Number two. Wheel. Okay, excellent. Number Blanca, two is, Blanca is going to help us out. 
Okay. <laughs> Wheels. <laughs> Three. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Number four. What's what's the score of the game? <laughs> I think somebody's some they're watching it at someone's home. <laughs> ah, Rolando. Rolando. Yes. Rolando, tell me. What happened? What's the score? Yes. Zero zero. Okay. It's a tie. Okay, so according to the numbers here, we have one, two, three. Okay, which one is number four? For me, it's handlebars, but number four, handlebars. Yeah, it is. Oh, for me too. Huh? Okay, so uh, number three, you have handlebar here, but some people say that handlebars is number four. For me, it's number yeah, four. because for me, the pedals, it's the number okay. three. So number one, it's okay, frame. Number two is wheels, yes. Number three is uh, pedals, yes. Uh, number four is... Handlebars. Handlebars, that's correct. Then number then, five, saddle, saddle, and saddle chipping. number six, chipping. Seven. Seven. The okay. last one. Correct. That is the correct order. So you can write it down. I'm going to resume the sharing, and this will be number six. Uh, the handlebar would be number four, as you were saying. So this one, the saddle, is going to be number five. Wait, what happened? Oh, somebody's erasing the numbers. Okay, so you got it. Um, I don't know what happened, but. It's because and... the number was awful, so. I, ah, I erased okay, it. okay, so you were erasing it. <laughs> the numbers. Got it. So, pronunciation, guys. Number one, frame. 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 Number frame. two, wheels. 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 Pedal. 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 Handle bars. 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 Correct. Handle bars. And number five, saddle. 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 And number six, shipping. 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 Okay. Shipping. 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 It sounds funny. Yeah, I know. Shipping. Mm -hmm. So, uh, good job. But now we're going to make a little stop because uh, Floor has something to share with us with her team, Sunshine. So I'm going to stop sharing. You can put your hand down now. You can lower your hand. Okay. Oh, chica. There's only way I can do it. It's, it's, why, um, why the puchica? Like okay. Sorry? What is the problem? Why, why what the is the problem? What is the problem? <laughs> with, with what? I don't, I don't have problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so sunshine. Oh, wow. Look at those cactus though they look beautiful <laughs> good evening good teacher evening. and guys well good. we are here again so we are sunshine and let me can you see the the screen yes 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 lady okay we are talking we are we are we're talking about the creation process of our Sunshine's products. So the step number one or the creation process is pro 
propagating succulents. Number two, repotting. Number three, create succulents arrangements. And number four, promote our products. So propagating succulents is, ba is a basic term. Well, it's the act of taking an element of mature succulents and using that element to grow a new plant. It can be done by using the offset, left cutting, stem cutting, or seed from a mature plant. Take a look at the four basic ways we, we, we use so, sorry, of propagating succulents. For example, propagating succulent with offset or by division is... Uh, well, we call poops are the little succulents that is broke out around the base of the parent plant. These poops occur when rubs bearing leaf clusters shot off from the mature plant and develop into a new succulent. With a stem coating is propagating with uh, plants that had branches or roset, sharp succulents that have stretched out on long stem. And with the seed is the, the slowest way to grow new plants, but uh, we use seed of mature plants that are located in the swollen base of the flower. The more usual is preparing succulent with less cutting. Leaf. Is the process, leaf cutting, yeah. sorry. Okay. Is the process of removing and activate. Healthy leaf from a mature succulent plant and using it to grow a new plant. In the image, you can see the process. For example, some leaf will poop right off with a gentle toe, too, while others may require a sharp knife. Using clean hands or a sterile knife, remove a healthy leaf from the base of the plant, ensuring that an entire and damage leaf is removed. Once that we remove, let the leaf heal in a warm area with bright light for about four days to allow the woman to, I don't know how to say, teacher, callous over, callous over? As callous, I don't know what that word is. <laughs> callous. Okay. I, 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 I check in Google, but uh -huh. I don't remember. Okay. Okay, then we use a spray bottle to miss your leaf when the soil is dry. We have to be sure to keep them in a warm place with plenty of bright light, but not direct sun. They need to be kept moist and warm. After three weeks or so, little rubs and leaf will begin to sprout. 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 Yeah. It could take a few months before a succulent get bit enough for reporting. So the step number two reporting is when the succulent is the enough is enough big. Big enough. So uh -huh. we we can change the the <laughs> I, I forget la maceta. Change the pot. <laughs> the pot. pot. The pot. Yes. Pot. Yeah. And step number three, we prepare or we have our suppliers. We use different plants, soils, scents, decorative stones, and different pots and containers. For example, and at the last, because a picture is worth a thousand words, we do the marketing process. We do whatever it takes to promote our products online. For example, we take the photos, we upload them to social networks, etc. And that's it. Wow, sunshine. Yes, Never you stop can growing. you can yes, you can call us. At one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, or sunshine.com. Okay, awesome. That was really, really good. I love plants. And I even though I know it's difficult to have, I mean to to take care of succulents and, and cactus, I like them. I have I have some. I have some by the by the way. So um 
Awesome. I love the 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 the, the colorful uh, presentation, right? The information was was really interesting. I think that maybe some of your classmates are going to ask you to share that PowerPoint so that they can learn a little bit more about how to take care of the of the succulents or the or the cactus. And well, that was the cherry top right cherry top of what we have been discussing i am going to um share the screen with you quickly so congratulations guys even though uh you thought that we were done working with the teams and the products there are still some things more okay to do as you can see it's not easy to have a business and you know that now okay so um, the good thing is that you're not alone. So you're working as a team, you're learning English, but at the same time, you are learning other skills or other information that can be useful. Who knows, one day you decide to, to start your own business. Now you know the elements, you know the steps, you know the, the characteristics and, and what you have to pay attention to, right? When you're creating a product. Now, uh, I love, I love uh, the way that you, elaborated right your 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 product is not over but almost almost we're almost there now i'm going to share the screen quickly just to show you some things that you have been doing um so uh, there's some some evidence okay uh here <laughs> okay so these are the pictures from yesterday this is a normal picture with Gustavo rocking, and then Freddy relaxing, Diana smiling very naturally. And then uh, we have the crazy one, okay? So uh, I think I need to change my crazy face, but that's okay. Let me check. I hadn't seen four. Okay, so let's go on. <laughs> Floor, uh, just in case you, um, you missed it. I, no, I think you played. So some people didn't play, but here are the, here's the evidence, right, of the competition today. What Gustavo didn't want to see, here it is. We have Blanca there with Juan Jose and Fabio. Some of the methods that you are uh, sharing with us, right? Uh, I think I missed the screenshot from Fabio. Okay, creation process. And now, breakout rooms time. We haven't used the breakout rooms today. Have you noticed that? So you're going to the breakout rooms to discuss, okay? To share some opinions about these questions. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, small, big, medium size, analyzing costs is essential to make profit? Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Can you name three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product? Fixed expenses are like expenses that you cannot avoid, that are mandatory. For example, uh, if you're, if, let's talk about the, what? Sunshine, okay, that was the last product. <laughs> they cannot say okay we're going to save some money if we don't buy the the pots i mean how can you sell a plant without a pot it's impossible or if you say but if we don't use electricity for example in um in the find your pet or the pet lovers right if we don't use electricity or we don't use uh, we don't buy a computer you have to buy one, you have to use electricity. So those are fixed expenses, right? Los gastos fijos. Um, so have you ever calculated the price of a product? For example, a cell phone, that is a common, some common object, right? You say, how much is this cell phone? And the new cell phones are like $1,000, right? $1,000, why 1,000? This plastic here, it's probably just like $5. The camera maybe one hundred or 
less, right? And then you start like, hey, okay, but then they have a memory that is 128 gigabytes. Mm, maybe they spent about $50 there. Uh, so have you ever calculated the price of a product or for example, a popular drink like Coca-Cola or a bottle of water? How much do they spend to make this water? So that's what you're going to discuss right now. Really good questions. I like the three questions. Uh, so you're going to discuss in small rooms. I'm going to send you in groups of three. Okay. So we're going to have probably just one group is going to be composed by four because some of your classes are working so they cannot speak too much. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, perfect. I think we're done here. Ready, set, and go. You have five minutes, maximum six, to discuss these three questions, okay? You can express your opinion about any of them. You don't have to answer the three one by one, okay? Say if you agree, if you disagree. Okay, Jennifer, good to know. So now is the moment for you. Perfect, Rolando, get, do you, do you get an invitation to join the breakout room? Yes, no, perfect. Okay, here we go. Analysis called to make profit. What do you think about Jacqueline? What do you think about Jacqueline? <laughs> you know, she's a good person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I was looking for the, um, the meaning of the word regardless. Ah, did you find it? No, I was looking back. Okay, so regardless means uh, no matter, no matter of this, no matter the size of the business, regardless. Mm -hmm. Sin importar. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. See you later. Create a Hello. presentation. Somebody Did called you? me. Somebody yeah, invoked me. Uh -huh. Summon me. <laughs> Somebody summoned me. Uh -huh. group right now. What? We're a new group right now. A new group? Yeah. Yes. You are just going to discuss these questions. Okay, so we're not going to... What's your opinion? No, it's uh, not about your product. It's not about your team. No, it's in general. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got it now. So I thought we were going to be adding it to that. No, so. no, 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 no. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Nothing wrong will happen to me. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Is for a precaution. Yeah, Hi, Rolando. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm nice fine. to hear that. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, we have to to make the questions. To respond, to respond <laughs> these questions. That's why. <laughs> uh huh. Yes. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business, analysis analyzing cost is essential to make profit? I think yes. Yes. Ah, by the way, uh, Jennifer is an accountant, so if you want to talk about numbers and money, she's the she's the she's the one. She's the one. <laughs> yeah, she can tell you about that. You have, you have to, you have to have some some profit about the product that you are selling. Some profit. Look at my face. Yes. Blanca, you, you did it again, Blanca. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. 
<laughs> we noticed. You can make we a noticed. collection of all my faces, right? <laughs> you are yeah. watching us so serious. Like, I know Teacher, what you did yesterday. In, huh? in the financial world, world uh -huh. how can we say uh, that we we have lose in the co with the cost you have lost lose lost that's the way what what you say yes. Yeah. Loss. yes loss 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 okay. l o s s loss l o s s, -S. loss okay loss. okay it's the same when somebody dies i'm oh. sorry for oh. your loss yeah oh, okay okay yeah, I, I I don't even know the the word because I know that in the financial world you have to say it in another way. Yeah. Okay. okay. The next question is: Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Well, I did because I it's more expensive. Yes. This one. Yeah. It's a reason. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, in my case, I I think that yes, I sometimes I think about that. But I remember that once, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I was analyzing the the profit of Mac McDonald's muffins. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. And then every time that I want want, I you prefer no. by myself. Uh, it <laughs> yes. happens to me. You prefer to make it with the... yourself. Yes, I prefer ah. to make it. Okay. It happens to me with the pancakes. The pancakes, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I say, oh my God, this is too expensive. And I have a box uh, with food. <laughs> Uh, how do you say harina? Flour. With flour in my house, and I keep prepared by myself. And you, the, the, you the, have the to, box, to put just water. <laughs> yeah, and the box just cost one dollar and yes. cents, and the and the pancakes outside in the McDonald's cost like three or two. I don't know. I mean, in just three. <laughs> yes. For example, I have never bought pancakes. Never. Uh, I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no more. Yes. Put, and put some avocado on that, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got it. And what was the last question? Uh... Can you name three fixed expense to calculate the cost of a product? Fixed expense, uh huh? Fixed expense. Fixed expenses, yeah. What Can is that? Gastos fijos. Uh, if we can uh, mention three names of a product. No, three fixed expenses to calculate the cost of a product. Oh. Of any product. Any product, for example, electricity. Mm -hmm. If you're going to use packaging. a machine, uh, that is a, a fixed expense. You cannot skip it. Marketing. You can, I think you can skip marketing. If it is on social Sometimes. networks, you can, you know that you have to spend some money to make it go, uh, I mean, well, maybe. But packaging, I think, is. Uh -huh, is packaging necessary. is, yeah, it's, it's a fixed expense, uh -huh, depending on the product. Fix, fixed expense. Fixed expense. Fixed expense. What else? How, how do you say, teacher? For example, like uh, materia prima? Transportation. Transportation or, can be, or also the. The raw materials that you were saying, the raw materials, raw materials. The 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 uh, that would the be the materia prima. That the raw work in the company. Uh huh. The uh, labor. Labor. Mm -hmm. The what was the word? Manual labor. Uh huh. Manual labor. Manual labor. That's correct. 
raw materials. That would be like materiales crudos, right? Raw, prima, wow. like raw, raw material. There you go. Wow. Yep. Okay, so the time and is the up. Labor. We're going back to okay. the Yay. Bye. <laughs> Here we are. Floor, the football game already finished? Really? Mm, no, oh, a I think no. Ah. I thought you almost were. finished. I think that almost finished. Almost. I was thinking you are in the stadium. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm in my house. <laughs> she wishes she were there. I wish it, yes. <laughs> you wish you were there. Huh? Yeah, nice. I'm but I think Fra Francisco is there. Really? Hello. No, I think Miguel might be there. <laughs> Who else? Is not Brenda, here? You, because you are not put on the camera. Because I was working and mm, uh -huh. I was in video call for uh -huh. that. Michael, you're working in the. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. If I stay in the stadium, you hear some noise. But no, it's not possible to me. I don't like the, the, the national football. <laughs> okay. No, but this this team right now, the the one that is playing, they they have done a really good job. So that, I think that's why people are motivated. Hopefully, it's going to be a different result, right, <laughs> than the previous years. Now uh, we're going to continue, guys. Uh, the time is up for the discussion, and we are missing just um, some minutes. Okay, before we go to the final, um, well, to the closing of the class. And uh, Diana, you're going to stay for the last 10 minutes, right? Diana? Hello? Yes, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, no problem. So um, I am going to uh, just share with you something that I was uh, finishing because I, I made some modifications. That was the final list. So I'm going to okay show you. This is what your classmates, in this case, uh, the finalists for the spelling, are going to be studying. Ten, 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 ten. Here it is. Here they are. Okay, so I want to show you, uh, girls and gentlemen. Because as you remember, Beatriz, Diana, Flor, Fredis, and Janari, you were the ones that got more points for the for the spelling. And I was I was making some modifications to eliminate some words. This is for today. No, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, okay. Yes, it's the same words that you already studied, so it's not going to be something new. I am eliminating some words. I am I just added um this these new words that we have studied. And um, target audience, that's necessary. Okay, so that will be all, I think. So it's going to be exactly 33, 33 words. Okay, so from here, we're going to have three rounds. Uh, if necessary, we're going to go with some extra rounds, depending on the scores that you're getting, right? So it's going to be three rounds. So everybody's going to have three chances to get points, the five, but the five finalists, as I shared with you, so that's tomorrow, okay? I'm going to share this in the WhatsApp group one more time, so you have the, the new words and the ones that I eliminated. So I continue, and what's next? So for tomorrow, you are going to, well, you're going to read a little bit, okay? Because 
is one of the, is the last exercise that we're going to do from the unit number three. You already discussed the questions, okay? So what you're going to do is read the following text featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. This is going to be really interesting because you can have an idea like, why is this so expensive? But then you remember, ah, it's because of this and this and this and this cost, right? Um, and then you will answer the questions. You have exactly five questions about the text. So what you will do whenever you have some free time, maybe five minutes during your day, read this and answer this, okay? In your notebook, well, I mean on your notebook or you can write, answer it on the computer, on your cell phone, anywhere. So tomorrow at the, at the beginning of the class, we are going to share the answers, okay? About these questions. So uh, that's the assignment that you have for tomorrow, okay? Right now, I am going to focus a little bit on pronunciation, so I'm going to read it for you. So you pay attention to some words. You can take notes about the new words and the words that you have doubts about pronunciation because tomorrow you're going to practice a little bit uh, reading this text aloud, okay? Some paragraph with your classmates. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production, fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Uh -huh. Variable costs this include uh, items that change with your sales volume like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. That is the, no, the, the, the numbers that you have to, the math that you have to do, right? To calculate it. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand, for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as, as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of, a, of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. That means that the more people, uh, I mean, the, uh, as a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Determine the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the, uh, to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit. If you want to, for example, you want to get 25% more, if you want to get 20%, right? Uh, the type of the product or service you are selling how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed by the seller. So this is the text is <clears throat> something that you are not so familiar with, probably depending on your job ex work experience or where you work right now, but that's the information. Um, okay, so that's the score of the match. Well, I said that it was going to be a tie. That's all right. So do you have any questions about the vocabulary or any comments about the questions that you were discussing in the breakout rooms? The discussions were really good. I have to tell you that I was listening to you in the breakout rooms and you have really good points and really good um, examples to give. So any doubt or comment before we finish today's session? No. 
The selector didn't lose, nope. so that's a reason to be happy. No, okay. it's a tie. Yeah, yes. at least. At least it was a tie game. Actually, today, um, I think I, I was going to show you. I was wearing a shirt that had both one half of the U.S. flag and one half of El Salvador's flag. So people were, were looking at me like, what's going on with this person, right? With this man. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a gift that I got. So that's the reason why I put it on today. Okay. Teacher, do you have the t-shirt that has the picture from the president? No, um, I don't. I have seen <laughs> that t-shirt that has the from USA and from El Salvador. And oh, wait. Ah. this is the one, the USA, and this is El Salvador. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, somewhere there is the selector. Yeah. So um now time's up thank you so much i as i told you rolando i knew that my students were not going to let me down today <laughs> so um thank you so much for your participation your volunteering right as usual and for um gustavo it's in here Gustavo, I think Blanca wants to say goodbye. Are you there? Goodbye, goodbye, good night. Bye, good night, everybody. <laughs> no, Diana, you're goodbye. not leaving. You're not leaving. <laughs> Bye. Take care, everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye. Good night, everyone. Diana is leaving now. <laughs> no, Diana, you're not leaving. <laughs> In the new room. <laughs> and then the teacher is along with good Emilio, one, right? Good okay. one. <laughs> nice strategy, and a nice strategy. <laughs> yeah, the boys. Diana is leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Alexa, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Alexa. <laughs> yeah, she's got nice. the voice to work at a call center. Good night, guys. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir, Monsieur. <laughs> Brenda, maybe she wants to stay. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. Here so, we are. Here we are again. Hey, you changed the background. Yeah, you made I made some modifications to some another another work. room because I need to save electricity. Okay. So I decided just a lamp to be nice. Um, yeah, it's better. Yeah. It looks it looks better, I think. Yeah. So I just tell, I have a little question. It's about lot and lots. When mm -hmm. we use lot and when we use lots. Okay, because, lots and lots. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I we... hear some some people says, um, there are a lot a oh. lot something and other people uh, a lot of uh, I don't know a lot of water uh, that it's possible a lot of water a lot of water yes a lot oh but water. you say a lot of and a lot no when no. you use lots you don't use uh -huh. the article a ah. you don't you only say oh. lots of lots of i have lots uh, can of you money give me an example? i have a lot of money i have a lot I of money a lot, a of, lot money. of money money and with the lots i have lots of money and it means the same yes it's the same thing okay. it's just a different way for example is uh like when people say until Mm -hmm. and teal two different forms but actually sounds like a con contraction it sounds like it's a reduction actually it's a like a short form it's uh -huh. like veterinary and vet right so uh until teal with t-i-l-l -L, and you have one contraction that is apostrophe t-i-l oh like but that cause. is informal but that's informal very informal yeah like cause uh, because, oh, it's informal. Yes. 
Because you know what? Yeah, it's informal. It's informal. Uh, however, but however. But if I want to have a conversation with someone and I say that, because you know what? It's like, in an like informal, it's my in friend. A, in a casual uh -huh, context, yeah, you can do that. Like your friends or. But I can say it to my boss, for example. If you have a close communication with him and like mm -hmm. your friends, mm -hmm. you can, you express like that even in Spanish. It's okay. okay. Just but if it is a meeting, me... it's a meeting, for mm. example, uh, and you have a lot of employees, or it's a meeting with someone, uh -huh. you don't say you don't say cause, you say because. Oh, okay. Uh, can you repeat the rule with lots and lots? Okay, so it's not exactly like a rule, but when we use lots of, we don't use the article ah. Uh, because uh, when we use is, lot of no lots lots of lots uh -huh. of when we use lots of we don't use a uh, because lots is plural and a uh, is singular so it's not possible to combine them so you have this that option but it's not the most common one the most common one is I a lot of a lot okay. of mm -hmm. lot a lot of okay and i i can say i have a lot a lot of money mm -hmm. or in the other way i have lots of money uh -huh. a lot of money or correct. lots of money because i thought it was with countable countable and uncountable things no you can use both with countable or uncountable Okay, I have mo lots of money. Mm -hmm. Lots of montones, sorry, montones de dinero. Mm -hmm. Montones de dinero, yeah. And then a lot of money, mucho dinero. So it's, uh -huh. it's different. It's different in, when you translate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but in Spanish, we can we cannot say like, we, I have a lot of money. No, I can, I, I can say I have lots of money. In Spanish, mm -hmm. tengo montones de dinero. Montones de dinero. Un montón de dinero. Un montón, montones. Yeah, when you're saying lots of, it's it, it, like if you're talking about money, right? It sounds like if you have like packages, right? Or or mm. lots of money. Uh -huh. It sounds like that when you translate it to Spanish, right? But the main difference and the only difference is that they are, is the, is the use. Because both of them are informal or colloquial or very casual let's say um but this is for speaking right normally you do it with friends with family um when you're meeting someone in a in a normal environment but when you are in business or work uh, it's not that common however if you ask me which one sounds more informal lots of is more informal lots Lots of, yeah. Uh -huh. A okay. lot is more accepted. It's more accepted, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that was my doubt. That was your doubt. And um, about the contents from the class, the, the platform, uh, grammar, vocabulary. I think it's clear with the in indirect question. Mm -hmm. When we have an indirect question, the verb be is like like when after the, the noun, like, be, yeah, after that. Like mm -hmm. you were saying, when you are asking the, a direct question, you say, what time is it? And when you are making an indirect, indirect question, you say, uh, could you please tell me what, what time is it is right what time it, it is so it we is, use uh -huh. the subject and then the the verb the mm -hmm. verb mm -hmm. yeah the subject is it uh-huh the order changes the order changes mm -hmm. changes okay um and we skip the the auxiliary do or the helping verb do did mm -hmm. does uh-huh 
it, that happened the same with any time, past uh, or present. Yeah, but you have to pay attention to the modification that, you're, that you need to make to the verb. If you are using the past, you are going to use the verb in the past mm -hmm. because you don't have the auxiliary did. If you are talking mm -hmm. about he, she, it in the simple present mm -hmm. affirmative, you are going to add the letter S or the letters ES to the verb. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. you made a modification. Uh -huh. uh, it's like in the like the simple present. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's a sentence form. It's a sentence structure. So obviously you need to take into consideration that you need to modify it. Because it's not exactly a question. It has a structure of a sentence. Mm -hmm. Because in a question, what you but do is that you use the auxiliary. Use, uh, does uh, she uh, have, uh. for example, does she have a, a boyfriend? Does but, she have a boyfriend? Look, okay, pay attention to that example. Does she have a boyfriend? And then it's like, I wonder if she, if she has. has. So you change the verb. Because uh -huh. for he, she, and it, we don't say have, we use has. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, another example. It's like a the simple present. Are you are you ha are you happy with the new bus? I wonder if I wonder if, if uh -huh. you are happy. If you are. So we change the order. Happy. Okay. But now if we're talking about somebody else, okay. Uh, uh -huh. the, the the like with a verb, with a normal verb, for example, play. Does, mm -hmm. does Diego play the, the, a musical instrument? Does Diego play a musical instrument? And Do you, you know like, if Diego plays a musical correct. instrument? Correct. You see, you're okay. really smart. <laughs> you're like a smartphone. Just okay, so thank yes, you, thank you. that's correct. And, okay. um, Basically, that's that's the way that you use it, and you're right. Okay. I am sending okay. the the spelling bee words list. Okay, for you. So check it out. That's a new one. Is the one that I was showing you today. So I decided to eliminate some, to modify some, and to mm -hmm. add some of the words that we have studied in the last. Week. Oh, in the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. In the WhatsApp okay. group for everybody. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna so. study them. Excellent. I know you're going to do a great job. So okay. uh, thank you for staying, Diana. I hope that you and your baby are okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Excellent. So thank you for staying. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. You too. Bye. Yeah, nice living.